Good morning, 8 Barrel members and friends. Got a tip here from the 8 Barrel crew, which is a really important one this week. It's all about independent bottlings. Uh, so I'll briefly explain what an independent bottling is and why it's really important for us whiskey drinkers in Australia. To give you a brief example, a company of a particular name, let's take for example Chieftains, will approach a distillery, they'll ask to buy a, um, an amount of their new made spirit, once on purchase, they will then put it in their own casks, mature it themselves, and then bottle it themselves at full strength, usually. So you can see with this Chieftain's bottle here, on the side of the bottle, it has the total number of bottles of this particular cask to produce, which in this case is 336, and it'll give me the exact cask number as well. So what this means for us whiskey drinkers in the actual whiskey itself is you get distinctive flavours because it is just from that one particular cask. Whereas in official and bottlings, you, you often get um, an average flavour from a number of uh, maybe four to five hundred different casks. Another really important reason why we, um, we look at independent bottlings in Australia is because actually these companies often bottle distilleries that you wouldn't otherwise see in Australia. So I've got an example here which is the Cadenhead bottling of Bladnock, which is a lowland distillery that we don't see too much of in this country. Um, so these whiskies are fantastic and, and they also um, allow us to really explore the world of whisky without having to come up with exorbitant amounts of money to get them from overseas. So guys, we will have a series of independent bottlings, including Chieftains and Elements of Islay, as well as Single Malts of Scotland, on tasting at the Sydney Whiskey Fair, which is coming up at the end of August. Um, so guys, if you haven't got your tickets already, fantastic event to come along to, and I uh, hope to see you there. Thanks a lot.